everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I thought I would share a bit of happy mail that I got. So I did an extended happy mail opening for my members only, but I just wanted to recap what I received uh, now that I've seen everything. Um, so first off, this is my collection of ATC or artist, artist trading cards. We started to do these fun swaps in my Crafty Fun with Friends Facebook group. And I've been collecting them in this little binder. It's actually designed, I think, more for baseball trading cards or Pokemon cards, things like that. But ATCs are the exact same size, two and a half by three and a half. So I'll just do a quick, quick uh, flip through. So this was the very first swap that we did and I made um uh this is the one that I made and these are the ones that I received from that swap so really really fun and I did two different versions of mine um so these two look the same but they're slightly different and how I do my ATC swaps is I take everybody who signs up and then I put us all into separate groups. That way, the number of ATCs you have to make is a bit more manageable. And that way, if there's 14, 15 people who sign up, you don't have to make you know, 13, 14 ATCs. Rather, I'll split that into two groups so everybody just makes um, fewer. But what I do is I put myself into all of the groups so that one, I get the privilege of collecting everybody's ATCs, but it also helps me to know like who has sent theirs out and who hasn't. So that's why you see so many from me. This was an ATC I participated in that was part of Danny's swap. And that was really fun. That was Danny's right there. Uh, this was mine that I made. And uh, everybody in that group did a lot of dimension on theirs. So really, really awesome. This, I think all of these are still also part of that swap. And then here's, oh, this was a, this might've been a second swap. Um, yeah, ocean themed, yeah. So then these here are ones that I made that I'm not giving away because I like them a lot. So these are just for me to keep. I might have given away a couple because I made something like nine of them. So I'm only keeping six out of the nine. Um, cause they're these little trolls, they're so adorable. So those are for me to keep. This one was to commemorate hitting 4,000 subscribers. So some crafty friend of mine um, and I all reached 4,000 subscribers right around the same time. And to commemorate or celebrate, we had a huge giveaway hop. And one of the design briefs um, that we had to create with and, and share for our hop project was to, uh, everybody on that hop was to craft with one of four colors and the four colors were derived from each of our favorite colors. So what I did in my hop video was I made four ATCs uh, in each of the different colorways and I gave the person who um, contributed that color as their favorite color to the design brief, I gave them their coordinating ATC and of course teal is my favorite color so that's the one I kept for myself and everybody's had the same design for uh yay 4k 4k yay <laughs> and so that sort of commemorates that milestone and then this was just a really fun alcohol ink panel that I did on acetate and I uh oh yeah there we go so I actually gave myself a little bit of a note as to um what I did so that I can um, remember, you know, how I achieved that look, and that way, if I want to try to replicate that and do it again, I'll know how. So, bit of a swatch, I guess. And so here is the latest ATC swap. 
It was themed Home Sweet Home, which was actually Jay's idea. So thank you, Jay, for the suggestion. It's great to kind of um, learn a little bit about each other. And so I've got everybody who signed up for the swap because same thing, I put myself in each of the four different groups. That way, each individual person only needed to make two, um, two or three or maybe three or four, I think, uh, ATCs. So it's not too overwhelming. This one's mine. So I am from Virginia, VA, and Virginia is for lovers. So that's why the hearts. <laughs> it looks very Valentine's, but that is uh, how I themed mine. And then I've got, um, this is, I think, from group A. This one was a series of three, which I thought was really sweet. And I love that there's, um, everybody has sort of a different design on the back, which I love. So this was the set of three. And then, um, here's group, I think, B. That one's J's. I think this is, um, is it Wendy's? Yeah. And that one was... Um, I can't remember now. I, d I just literally did the unboxing of it and I, I think it might be Erica. I'm not 100%. And um, that was so that was group B. Here's group uh, C, I think, is these three. And that this one's from Meg. So the reason why I'm filming this so late, because this swap was back in September, but Meg had... Um, the mail service had a rough time getting Meg's ATC to me. It, it took a couple of round trips <laughs> between Michigan and Washington, and, uh, but I finally got it. And so that uh, pretty much completed my, my um, collection for this swap. But look at, this is so gorgeous, all of these. So, so fun to, to learn about, you know, everybody, to get a little bit of a... Um, little sneak peek into you know what they consider home and so now all of that's sort of commemorated in my in my little uh, binder here so lots more room for more uh, ATCs if you are not already a part of my um, crafty fun with friends Facebook group I welcome you to to join us there and we do these swaps these specific group swaps we do maybe um, three, four times a year is what I'm aiming for, but every month we're kind of on track to uh, have an activity pretty much every month and um, that's possible because I have some amazing moderators who help me come up with different activities and they actually organize. It's not just the ideas that they have, it's the time that they're putting into organizing these um, group activities for us. So thank you to my mods so, so much. I uh, Speaking of swaps and fun activities, in um, October, so that was our September activity. In October, Delise coordinated a um, like a one-to-one -one card exchange. So we had a fall-themed one. And I got, um, Brenda picked my name, or she didn't pick, but she was assigned, I guess, uh, to, to give me a card. And this is the card that she sent. It's just gorgeous. And this is a rub-on transfer. How cool is that? And she also sent along with her card some, um, gorgeous papers also. Look at that. I really love this one. And so thank you to Brenda for that. So that was the fall card swap or card exchange. And then I got this special Halloween card. So as a, for folks who, Delise actually set up two uh, card exchanges. One was Halloween and the other was fall because not everybody digs Halloween. Totally understandable. So this one is from Cindy which is amazing. She, I've seen this card and I'm, I was always so jealous that of everybody who got one because look at all of the detail. Look at the moon. It's just fabulous. And she's got the ghost back there. You've got the scary, um, sort of iron fence all of the layers and this is a lot of die cutting this is a lot of work i can i can really appreciate how much work 
went into this. And Cindy often makes these cards um, in multiples, which for a card this detailed with this much die cutting, I would never have the energy to do this in multiples. I don't know how you do it, my friend. And uh, all I can say is that I'm so supremely grateful to have a card from you and I will proudly put this on display. I'm I'm so I'm so excited that I get to be a lucky recipient of your um Halloween card. So um I, that must be the one, Cindy must have picked me or must have been assigned to me for my Halloween uh, swap partner. So really, really fun. Thank you so, so much for um, participating, everybody who participated in the swaps. Thank you to my moderators who have organized, helped me to organize such fun activities. And if you're watching this and you're not part of my Crafty Fun with Friends Facebook group, I hope you'll join. There's a link to it in all of my videos now. Um, so pop on over, do have a look at the rules and uh, indicate whether you agree to those rules because that is something that we look for before we allow new members into the group. I'm not so excited about, you know, blowing up that group. I'm more interested in just making sure that it's a safe space for everybody to share and to, um, you know, feel free and welcome to post their projects, whether they are just getting into card making and it's their first card or if they are part of 20 design teams and they make hundreds of cards a year. I, I want that to be a really fun community that is safe, encouraging, and um, part of keeping it that way is to make sure that everybody has a look at those rules and does agree to them and we do enforce them so <laughs> so it is something that we look for and I, I have my moderators to thank um for helping me to to manage the group on that side of things as well so do join us and we will have um i think another swap in I think November, and then I know I the next one will be, uh, I think March of 2024. So we're already starting to plan activities for for next year. So I hope you'll join us over there. And thanks for catching this video. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.